Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to Civilization 5. Let's play Venice. We are at turn 63. Um, we have just uh, created our first uh, Merchant of Venice, so we can actually um, set him off to go and find um, a good city-state to go and buy out. There's a few of them around. There's a few to the south. We have, I think it's uh, Melbourne uh, down here to the south, south with some ivory. Um, over to the east, we do have Kathmandu, and I'm thinking of actually going to uh, buy out Kathmandu just because of the horses here, uh, for one thing, and also the spices as well, which will, will give us happiness. Um, just to the south of Kathmandu, though, we also have Manila. And uh, Manila does have a bit of iron nearby, which could be pretty handy. Um, and also the other end of the island, we've got Quebec, which is um, just surrounded by desert there. And uh, Mombasa as well, which is kind of on the on the edge with some little, little lambs, little sheep over there. Um, and there's also one city state that I haven't actually met yet, but I think I will go over there and uh, we'll go we'll uh, go and say hello to uh, to this city state over here and uh, just see who they are. And if they've got some good resources, maybe we could uh, send our merchant over there instead. But at the moment, I'm thinking um, about going over to Kathmandu um, just for the horses and the spices. So we'll go and check that out. But uh, at the moment, I'm dealing with these barbarians. Um, so let's attack them and let's. That didn't do a lot of damage, did it? It didn't do a lot of damage at all. Uh, let's see how these. No, I'm going to leave the uh, the uh, the warriors just like that uh, for the time being. Um, let's move the what's his name? Antonio Pigafetta. <laughs> okay, Antonio. Let's move Antonio Pigafetta into uh, the city there. Uh, we do need to choose some research as well. Uh, we have just finished optics, so we could potentially go for the uh, the Great Lighthouse. Um, we are heading off to the Compass for the Great Galleuses. Um, so I definitely wanted to to uh, to get a few of those out there to take control of the the ocean um, area. But for the time being, it's not. It's not essential to get that ready right now. Um, I'm going to have a think about what um, civilization I do want to take over, or at least try and weaken. Uh, we could go for, we have Stonehenge here, Stoneworks uh, for the calendar. And actually, I think I'll do this for the, the plantation here, um, because I do believe we do have some citrus. Um, oh, it's a fair way away, isn't it, the citrus? Is that one, two, three? Oh, we could potentially get there to that citrus. Um... Okay, so let's have a look and see what else we need to do. We do have our scout um, down here to the south who's still still having a look around. Um, I'm just going to leave Antonio in the city. I do need to uh, to send him away with some protection, so I'll get I'll get him an escort uh, once I've dealt with these barbarians up here. I'm getting to that stage now where there are quite a few things I need to purchase or produce. Um, so it's yeah, it's a little bit um, a little bit of a worry. I do need some more trade routes up and running. I, I do want the the great lighthouse as well. Um, I do need uh, some more military units. So I need to get all these things going at the same time, and I only have one city to do it. So it does make it a little bit difficult. And uh, that that really is the challenge with Venetia. Uh, sorry, with Venice is. Oh, let's just take these guys. Hopefully, they're going to survive that attack. Um, Antonio, you're going to have to wait there, buddy. Uh, let's let's just wait him there. Keep him there. Let's have a look at these. Um, these workers are chopping down the forest. They're removing the jungle. Um, in three turns, they will be able to to build the plantation. Okay, a religion has been founded somewhere out there. Islam has been founded. Um, we have completed our caravan as well. So let's, let's have a look, um, see if we have any trade routes here. Uh, we could trade with the city-state for an extra three gold, uh, or we could trade with Spain for two gold and two science. And I think I might do that. Now, who, which, which city is the closest city? I do want to take the safest trade route possible. Seville is the closest city. Um, so let's let's do that. I'm going to be giving Spain one science and one gold, but I'm getting two science and two gold in return. So I think it's worth it. It's um, definitely a, a big benefit, a bigger benefit to me. Looks like we've got some uh, warriors uh, in the way here. Let's choose 
um, production for Venice. Uh, now we're going to have to really have a think about this. We have 216 gold. We could potentially buy something. Is there something we could... Hmm. I, I may just purchase another archer unit just as an escort. Um, I don't really like buying military units, but... I prefer to, to buy buildings, but I may need to do that. Let's have a look at uh, production. Uh, I could go for the Great Lighthouse. That will take 14 turns. Um, that will also give us uh, a merchant point. So we definitely want those merchant points uh, for buying out more city-states. Um, otherwise, we could beef up our military a little bit. Uh, we also need workboats for the... Uh, for the pearls over here, and also the fish. So we, we need a uh, one, two, three... Uh, we need another four workboats, actually. So we're, we're going to be pretty busy. We need four workboats. We need uh, three caravans. Uh, well, caravans and uh, cargo ships. Uh, we need to beef up our military. Um, uh, so sh shall, I, shall I spend this time going for the Great Lighthouse, or shall I just um, just continue on with the, the workboats and the caravans? It's a... Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be a bit of a, a sacrifice going for the Great Lighthouse, but I'm actually going to do it. I'm actually going to go for the Great Lighthouse, and what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to purchase a an archer. It's going to leave me pretty a little bit a little bit short of money, um, but at least it's going to give me an escort, and the quicker I can get out and to buy that other city, um, the quicker I'll have some extra cash. I've got the happiness for it. I have six happiness. Once we get these pearls as well, we're going to get another four happiness. Um, Antonio, you can wait there for another turn, and uh, I'll get these workers just to wait there for the time being. They're going to, to build a plantation on that cocoa field in, in two turns. So let's just get rid of these barbarians. Um, there we go, we've got another 25 gold. Um, so let's send these guys back in the next turn. They'll be able to embark over the water. So I'll send one of them, uh, probably the warriors, um, over here to meet that uh, city-state as well. But we do have some barbarian, uh, are they triremes to worry about? Barbarian galleys to worry about as well. Um, let's just send both of my units uh, back into my, uh, my land area here. Um, the warrior has moved down here. Now this is uh, a Persia, I believe. We have Persia. We also have Ethiopia. Now I think Ethiopia did get the Great Library, so they are someone that I'm going to have to watch. Let's have a look at the uh, diplomacy screen here. Uh, I'm at 113, so I'm, I'm pretty low, but that's expected uh, for Venice because I only have uh, one city at the moment. Uh, we have Spain is doing the best, actually, so... Um, I'm going to have to keep an eye on Spain at the moment and see how see how she goes because she is uh, very close to me. Isabella is is very close to me, just to the west over there. Uh, so let's build this. No, I'm going to wait one turn here uh, for this worker. Then we'll build that plantation. I'm going to build uh, take these arches um, just down around to the south and the west, and uh, we'll go over to uh, to Kathmandu and uh, take out that city state over there. It is uh, the next turn. Lady Isabella of Spain, uh, she wants to declare friendship. And I think we'll do that. We'll um, try and make... Um, keep her on our good side, I think. For the time being, anyway. Obviously, I have these galleuses in mind. And I do want to... I could attack Barcelona um, in... Oh, I don't know how, how long, maybe 25 turns or 30 turns. Maybe I could send the galleuses off um, to take out Barcelona. Um, unfortunately, her capital city is well um, hidden away inland there, so it's going to be uh, fairly difficult to take with a coastal bombardment. In fact, I won't be able to do it, but I can take one of her cities anyway. Um, I'm fairly confident I could do that. Let's have a look at the technology tree. Um, we could go for the wheel. We have masonry. Um, the Mausoleum of Helicarnassus um, also gives us great merchant points. It's not so important, though. I don't have uh, marble or stone nearby. Um, so I'm not so concerned about getting that wonder. Let's go for... Let's go for philosophy for the time being. Um, I'm not going to use the chariot archer. I don't have horses. Let's go for philosophy at the time being. Um, we can go for the oracle. We are going for a, uh, a culture victory. 
Well, we'll see how we go, but at this stage, I have in mind going for the culture victory just because um, I'm a single single city civilization, and it's it's hopefully going to be a bit easier to have a culture victory uh, than a military victory. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's build a plantation now um, and get this cocoa. It should get us uh, give us four happiness as well. Um, the archers can stay there and heal up. Um, I'm going to send my warriors also into my area to heal up. And let's bring these archers um, down. Unfortunately, they can only move one space at a time. It's going to take me a little while to get all the way over um, to Kathmandu. I am a little bit worried about um, Spain closing this area here and blocking me off. So that could be uh, just a little bit of a worry, especially if I can't get my, uh, my merchant through there. But we might be able to... Uh, negotiate for an open border treaty. So we'll see how we go with that. Um, looks like my border has just expanded and it looks like we are heading towards the uh, the citrus over here as well. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Let's have a look and see what's going over here. Um, we've got a few more warriors um, over there. We've got Melbourne, small city-state. Um, just to the south they have a few uh, other crossbowmen uh, composite bowmen they have, which is a, a little better than my, my archers. Okay, let's move my uh, units uh, one, one hex across. And that's pretty much all I'm doing for the turn. I'm going to move my warriors in here and get them healing up next turn as well. Uh-oh. Okay, that is not good. Um, so, sorry, not Arabia, Ethiopia. Ethiopia have uh, finished the Terracotta Army. Um, how are they going for diplomacy? They're 186 now. They're, they're starting to run ahead of me, and I'm getting a little bit worried um, that I'm going to lose control of this game. I, I definitely want to kind of keep a handle on of, uh, on what's going on. Um, I'm going to send my archers into the city, and let's move these guys across. Once I get another city... I'll, I'll feel a little bit more relaxed, I think, that I, I will be able to kind of keep up uh, with the other civilizations at the moment. They're starting to run away with run away with the game. Let's just quickly have a look at uh, citizen management here, make sure we're doing things okay. We are producing the lighthouse. I want to make sure I am, am able to actually get this. Uh, let's reset all the tiles. Uh, great lighthouse in 10 turns. We have uh, citizen growth in 11 turns. Um, if I go food focus... Um, brings that down to 8 turns and the Great Lighthouse extends to 13 turns. If I go production focus, I can get the Great Lighthouse in 8 turns and I think that... I may just do that. I may just put a hold on citizen growth until I can get this lighthouse out of the way and once I've done that I can focus on, on the work boats and the caravans and cargo boats as well. Um, okay, so the scouts, do they have anything more to do? Yes, we can have a look uh, down to the south. Um, there's a little bit of land that uh, we haven't explored down there. We'll see if there's another city-state or another civilization down there. But there are already four civilizations on this continent. And uh, there, are, there are only six civilizations in total. So we've, we've discovered... Um, yeah, there's two, two more civilizations to discover out there, probably on a continent of their own. It looks like I will just be able to, to skip through. I'm just going to thread the needle here uh, between Seville and uh, Madrid. Um, let's send, keep sending my scouts down here. Once I have kind of discovered everything on this continent, I'll probably automate these scouts and uh, they can embark and head off to find new continents. Um, okay, my warriors, are they... Good to go. No, I'll, I'll leave them for one more turn, one or two more turns. I'll leave my archers um, in here. Let's fortify them in the city and continue moving my uh, my archers across. They do need to, uh, to cross the river there. And we are getting close. We're getting, getting close to Kathmandu. Uh, we only have 36 gold. We're not getting any gold per turn. Um, I don't have any luxury resources, I don't think, that I can... 
trade with anyone at the I moment. Let's just have a quick look. I've got pearls. Um, what I really need to do is grab the other pearls um, just up here. So I'll have something that I can use to trade with. Um, public declaration from Ethiopia. They are protecting Manila. Okay, so it looks like they're building up their uh, friendships with some of these city-states. We do have a barbarian encampment down here. I want to be careful I stay away from that. Um, okay, you finished with the cocoa, have you, workers? Let's send them over to this hill over here, and uh, they can build a mine over there. Um, they can also build a plant... Oh, custom house here. Okay, no, I don't want to build a custom house. Custom house. Uh, we do want to buy out a city state. So let's move across. Oh, very slowly. It's it's rather tedious trying to get over there, uh, one step at a time, with this merchant. Uh, the turns are going by fairly quickly. Uh, other civilizations have got more cities to uh, to work with. So I feel like I'm. Uh, at, a, at a very strong disadvantage, but uh, I knew that going into this game that it, it was going to be fairly difficult. I'm being attacked here as well, so I'm just going to make a run for it. Uh, let's run over to this tile over there. I'm not going to take out those barbarians uh, with my scouts. So let's go and have a, a chat with that city-state, um, which looks like it could be on an island by itself. Um, I'm a few turns away from finally finally buying out another city. Um, six turns away from philosophy, we can head for the Oracle or the National College as well. Um, again, I'm not not too confident that I will be able to, to buy that, um, but we can, we can try for it. I think I'm better off probably just going for the uh, getting some more trade routes set up and uh, getting some more work boats out there as well. Oh god, we've got some spearmen here as well. Looks like they're quite damaged. Uh, some of our archers will be able to finish them off, I'm sure, without much trouble. Um, my scouts have explored the land uh, almost entirely, a little bit to the east. We'll go. We'll head over there and uh, just see what else is is over in that direction. The people with the pointiest sticks, okay, I'm almost, I have basically half the strength of the second lowest uh, civilization, which is actually Isabella, Spain. So I'm quite happy that the, that uh, Spain is uh, is quite low on military because uh, they're right next to me and I don't want any, I don't want any trouble with them. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's embark and uh, see if we can say hi to that city-state. Um, okay, looks like Ethiopia has taken care of... Is that encampment still there? I don't want to... Oh, the encampment is gone. That's good. Um, so two, two turns away from uh, buying out that city-state. Let's build a mine on this hill over here. Um, next turn... We're two turns away from the lighthouse as well. So if we get lucky, lucky we may actually get uh, the great lighthouse. Um, these scouts, uh, they're a little bit blocked. So I might just heal them for a turn while we're waiting... Uh, for the Spanish warriors, warriors to pass through. And it uh, looks like we do have a bit of a line up here. There's a bit of a queue uh, coming through past the Ethiopian uh, city and that mountain. Let's, let's see if we can say hi to the city-state. Cahokia. We have met the city-state of Cahokia. They give us 30 gold. Uh, they're friendly. They have porcelain and cocoa. And uh, they're going to give us happiness. Okay, very interesting. We are actually getting one gold uh, per turn now, which is good. We are actually getting a little bit of gold. And there we go. We have made the uh, the great lighthouse. So um, maybe no one, nobody else was actually trying for that one. I won't send these warriors around. Um, I'm going to send them uh, back to protect my city, uh, just in case something does happen there. Um, and let's go into Kathmandu. We also need to choose um, some more production. Now what I might do is actually make this work boat as a top priority to get these pearls. Um, uh, what else do we need to do? Okay, so let's do this. 
Let's buy the city state of Kathmandu. It is now ours. We have the composite bowmen as well. Um, so we're going to send those, keep those in the city. And we have some spare archers here. Uh, let's have a look at the city. We do have the free monument um, from our tradition uh, focus. So we do get the extra culture there. Looks like they do have a shrine. So we are actually finally getting one faith per turn. Um, we can't do anything about the production. Uh, we will need to buy them a worker actually. We are going to have to buy them a worker just to get these horses and uh, this cinnamon as well. Looks like they've got the work boats out there as well which is good but um, yeah they don't and don't have any workers. Okay we do have these archers. Um, I might just I might just put them on this hill over here just to, to scout out a little bit and make sure uh, we're going to be protected over here. Oh my god. Ethiopia is 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 wonder spamming. Um, they've completed Stonehenge, and this is really not good because where are they now? They're 254. Um, yeah, they they have taken the lead. Spain was uh, was leading for a little while. Um, Ethiopia has uh, has taken the lead. They're they're spamming out those wonders. Uh, they do have some good production tiles down here, so I suppose they can do that. Um, looks like they've started an, another city over here. Hurrah! And that could be a potential target for my galleuses. If I, if I do want to weaken Ethiopia, I could potentially take out this uh, this little city here. Um, it does have some gems uh, for some nice a nice gold bonus there, and uh, some more pearls as well. Um, it could be quite difficult actually taking out the the capital Addis Ababa, um, but I could potentially weaken Ethiopia by by taking out its its smaller cities. So I'll think about that. Um, while I'm waiting for these great galleuses. Now, we do have Uluru here as well. Um, so I suppose Kathmandu is going to hopefully take that. Yeah, it's going to take that in the next uh, next border growth. So that's fine. Um, I'm just going to leave the archers here for now. And we're going to uh, fortify these bowmen in Kathmandu. Uh, one turn into philosophy. There is only one go uh, Melbourne is in awe of you. Melbourne is in awe. I wonder if they want to give us something. Would you like to give us something, Melbourne? Oh, we're going to lose influence. Enslave a worker. Okay, now I won't bother, I won't bother with that. Um, let's choose research. Let's have a look and uh, see what we can do. We've just got philosophy. Uh, we're not far far away from the compass. Uh, we're going to go back though, we're going to um, just finish off some of the ancient era technologies here. So I guess we'll start with the wheel. Um, it's, it's only going to take uh, two turns to complete that. Um, my scouts still cannot get through, so we're just, gonna, we're just going to... Um, I'll fortify them there. Should give them a defensive bonus and these archers are going to... they're just gonna just gonna stay there actually. I'm just gonna fortify them there for the time being um, and these warriors can work their way back into my city as well. Okay so another religion has been founded. We've got one turn until a workboat. Here we go. Here is our workboat. Let's send it out. Um, there we go. Send it out to the pearls, and we should have two pearls now. We've got extra happiness uh, plus the gold. Let's have a look and see what um, tiles uh, Venice is actually working. We are st still on production focus, but uh, we only have two turns until a new citizen is, is uh, born. Um, let's choose production. Um, cargo ship. Uh, we definitely do need the extra gold, um, but we could also go for the National College. I may actually go for the Oracle instead. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but I'm I'm not confident that I'm going to be able to get the National College. Um, I just... Yeah, I don't, I don't want to waste my time. I think the National College is going to go pretty soon. Probably Ethiopia is going to grab it, I think. Um, we have the Temple of Artemis as well, but... Um, I'm going to go Oracle. I'm going to go Oracle. Um... But I'm not 100%. <laughs> I could go for the National College. 
it's just a waste. If if Ethiopia gets it, then it's just going to be a waste of time. Um, but it, it is such a such a powerful wonder to have. Um, and I'm quite weak at the moment as well, so I could I could definitely use another couple of work boats and a couple of cargo ships. I mean, do I really want to try and wonder spam as Venice? And I probably don't. Um, so let's. Let's grab a couple of work boats. Let's do this. Let's let's stick with the basics, and uh, when I'm feeling a little bit more confident, maybe we'll go for some some of the wonders. Um, but I don't just want to wonder spam because my city is going to suffer because of it. Um, silver for pearls. Ah, uh, yes, we can do this. We can do this. Yeah, um, we can definitely do that. Okay, we've got nine happiness now, so we're going to be heading off into a, a golden age uh, fairly soon. Uh, we've discovered the wheel as well. We don't have any horses, so we can't do the chariot archer. Um, let's choose some more research now. Let's just go with masonry. Let's get these uh, these early technologies uh, out of the way. Um, two turns until a work boat. Um, so I potentially need three work boats. It's going to take me a little while. Um, have my workers finished their mine, have they? So they can head over here. Um, yeah, we'll head them over here and they can make a farm over there. I don't really want to chop down this jungle right now. I am getting extra culture uh, for these jungle tiles. Um, what I might do is just send my warriors down here. I'll fortify them down at the uh, towards the south of the city, just for a little bit of extra protection over there. Um, did I not? Let's just send them send them down to the south. Okay, so we have another workboat. Let's get uh, some more fishing here. Let's have a look at the yield. How are we doing? We've got a lot of food. Um, here we do have the Great Lighthouse, which um, gives us bonuses as well. Um, uh, we have a lighthouse, I should say. So let's choose production. Um, let's do another. Let's do another workboat. Let's get these workboats out. Um, I could potentially. Uh, make another worker as well, but I think I might wait uh, and, until I can buy another worker. We do want these horses and this cinnamon over here. I wish Kathmandu would uh, produce a worker, but it looks like they're focusing on uh, getting some food at the moment. They're building a granary. Uh, we can choose research as well, so this is all going fairly fast for us. Um, let's have a look now. Construction, we can do all horseback riding. Um, the caravan three is going to be uh, fairly important for for Venice with our additional trade routes, um, and that's something I do want to have a look at. But I'm going to uh, move a little bit here towards the Great Gallius. So I'm going to go for drama and poetry. Um, so let's let's do drama and poetry, which um, then we only need our theology um, after that, and uh, the compass, and then we're there. So. We're, uh, we're almost there to building a, a military, an ocean, a sea-going military. Okay, let's construct a farm over here that will give us extra food. Next turn, we are at turn uh, 84. Uh, one turn until another work boat is ready. Okay, so let's send this work boat out and uh, let's get... Uh, some more fishing done over there. So we, might, we must be doing pretty good for food um, with all of these fishing boats. We can get uh, one more fishing boat out. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to spam these uh, these work boats um, here. Just get them out as fast as I can. And then I'll worry about what else I need to do after that because that is really going to help our growth. Um, so I'm just going to get these warriors. They're going to fortify towards the south of the city um, next turn. And uh, next turn. Okay, how Silicai has completed the Great Wall. Yeah, this is really starting to worry me. This is really starting to worry me. Ethiopia have just uh, produced another Great Wonder, the Great Wall. Um, they must be flying away now. 348. Oh my god. Okay. 
I, I'm definitely going to have to do something about Ethiopia. Um, they are definitely a something I'm targeting. We can finish the tradition tree. Uh, it's going to give us extra gold. Uh, yes, please. Okay, we have 10 gold per turn, uh, which is fantastic. Next turn. Um, the pyramids have been built in a faraway land. Now, it looks like I could have actually built the national epic. Let's have a look here. Sorry, the National College, I should say. It looks like I probably could have built the National College. Uh, shall we try for it now? It's going to take us eight turns. Uh, we do have production focus. Oh, God. Okay. If I don't get this now, I am going to be kicking myself. But we're going to try for the National College in eight turns. Um, and see if we can actually do this. Um, we have all of the fishing boats out, which is absolutely fantastic. We're getting a, a boatload of food. We've got a really fast uh, city growth going here. We've met the um, another city-state um, just to the west of us. Okay, so let's make another fishing boat there. There we go. So we're getting a, a ton of food here. Four turns to city growth, um, which is pretty fantastic. We also have uh, bought out Kathmandu over here, so we need to get a worker out here um, to get these horses and this cinnamon as well. That is all the time we have for in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you all again soon tomorrow for the next episode of Civilization 5.